finished up lunch, which was nice. So now we're gonna go island hopping and um, go check out some new locations. Um, so we've got to drive to another port or ferry, or, sorry, another jetty area, and uh, we'll get a boat. Okay, that was a very short drive. <laughs> and uh, here's our boat. Okay, first stop, or well, second stop really, but anyway, I'm gonna head over there, you can see the others. Rub your tummy. Oh, you, you, you're cleaning yourself. You're having a roll in the grass. Oh. Dog playing catch. And the girls. Girls, are you coming in? Wave. Last stop, guys. We were just getting pictures and playing around. I thought there'd be snorkeling or something, but there's not. You had to bring your own kid, and we didn't know that. They didn't. It's not like they told us that early. It's just to give you opportunity to see some more beaches and islands. 
I'm so exhausted. I might just have to play. Okay, we're back at the what restaurant and um, they offered free uh, refreshments, so just some free snacks. It's nice to see Milo, coffee, tea, it's nice. And um, what's this? Toron. Toron, so it's a sweet? Mm, yeah. Okay. Banana. Oh, okay, it's like, it's like a banana frito. Okay, I see. Oh my goodness. Oh, the coffee and the banana frito. Anyway, really hit the spot. Man, it looked like much. But after a very tiring day, it's nice. <laughs> okay, so we got a jackfruit here for those that don't know. And um, that was mixed in with the banana fritters to add some sweetness, but very popular tropical fruit in Southeast Asia. I've seen a lot in Vietnam. And the guys were just pointing out. There's also a uh, breadfruit here. So I haven't seen that in a while. But um, it's a very starchy fruit. And uh, it's, it's quite popular in Africa actually, but uh, yeah, and other islands. And the shells that you were eating this afternoon, that lunch was here, it's here. Yeah, see? Well, seashells, yep. Sorry, I'm just show the breadfruit. It's not ripe yet, it's going to turn round. Right. Okay. Oh, very interesting. It's nice to see some uh, tropical fruit. Yeah. And then um, the seashells we were eating, yeah, for lunch. Still alive, huh? Oh, fresh. Yeah, they're moving. You know where they put it in the basin? Yeah. They let it vomit the sand. Right, to clean out the sand and... Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. They're still alive now. Yeah, and this one's hopping around. Yeah, yeah. See, still alive. Wow. Even with that claw. That's how we eat them, you pull out the claw. Yeah, that's... And you pull out all the guts. Yeah. That's interesting how it's got that massive claw. Yeah. Okay guys, welcome back to the adventures. It was a great uh, tour today, the whole uh, safari thing. Uh, really wore me out, just a lot too much time in the sun, I guess, just really hot. And I was just really tired because it was a 4 a.m. start. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> a lot of the time was spent commuting, you know, in the bus. Uh, so a lot of it was travel time, that's why. But um, look, I don't want to oversell it. Basically, it was a very, very easy tour. It is one of the, or it is the most expensive tour at the moment, but I guess it's something a little easier and for those who are interested in seeing zebras and giraffes and seeing the safari. The other two last stops were uh, two very beautiful islands and you just sit on the beach, but you don't do much, there's nothing to see. You know, it's not like you're snorkeling and, and doing major activities, you're just chilling out on the beach for like half an hour at a time. Okay, moving on, I've just got to pay the travel agent uh, uh, or the travel company and maybe talk about some other tours. I'm getting bored guys, that's actually the, the funny thing, I'm actually getting bored here. So I'm just going to say it straight, the best tour I've done so far in the Philippines has been the Quran Highlights Tour, now known as the Quran uh, Ultimate Tour. So it depends on the company, some call it the Ultimate Tour, some call it the Supreme Tour, but it's basically multiple sites. This is the one I'm talking about guys, the Quran Ultimate Tour. Island Ultimate Tour, you'll see it's gone down to 1300, some have it for 1200. And I've even seen it for less, 600, 700, but you lose sites, meaning they cut, they cut the tour down. You know, they cut, just cut out sites. So anyway, for this many sites and activities, it's really a bargain, and I think it's just the most popular one anyway. Uh, meaning it, it's running daily, and um, you know, there's lots of vendors offering it. Anyway, so I'll take care of that, but I just wanted to give you guys the update, and also just a bit of you know, useful information, and I'll try to find something to eat. You know, find a restaurant or something.